Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's first video. We're doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So as always on a Friday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the month ahead. And this takes us into the second half of September. So we're going to get the JMA and the CFS V2 uh, models together and see what they're both showing for the uh, next four weeks and uh, see uh, see what uh, connections there are between the two in terms of patterns that they're uh, forecasting. So that's what we've uh, got uh, going on for this first video. <laughs> Coming up this afternoon, going to have your week to 10 day video update. That will include all of the usual features. So we're going to start off with a JMA 500 millimeter high to dominant road chart from the North Pole view down. So this is the North Pole of the uh, Northern Hemisphere just here. We've got the Arctic uh, around here. And then of course we've got the mid latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere around there. 500 millibars is an area in the absolute high pressure, low pressure are being moved around by rejection. Red extrapolates to above average heights, which is high pressure, yellow, orange, and red. Blue extrapolates to below average heights, which is low pressure. It means to break it down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 23rd to the 30th of August. And the coming week has an area of above average heights sitting over to the east of the country, below average heights around Iceland. Uh, Flurm and jet streams going something a little bit like that. So we're under high pressure for the last week of August. We're going to have a lot of dry and potentially very warm uh, weather coming up. The uh, wind will be coming in from a southerly to southeasterly direction. So you would expect a lot of dry and pretty warm, maybe even locally quite hot weather uh, in the week ahead. All change for week two. This is the 30th of August to the 6th of September. This one has a trough of below average heights through the west of Europe. The above average heights pull, uh, pushed off to the uh, east and also pulling back into the middle of the Atlantic. Flow on the jet goes something a little bit like that. So, again, you expect quite a lot of dry weather, or quite a lot of unsettled weather, I should say, to be associated with that. Low pressure bringing showers, if not longer spells of rain. It would be quite a bit cooler uh, as well, because the jet stream is dipping southwards through the west of Europe. So it looks like we're on the cool side of the jet stream, which under trough low pressure, that would be a relatively unsettled start to September. And then finally, we're up to week three and four. This takes us from the 6th through to the 20th of September with the above average heights moving east northeastwards. No particular area of below average heights except here to the south of Greenland. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, difficult to ascertain what is going on there, but we're probably establishing something of a westerly flow. Although, don't rule out that high pressure over Scandinavia trying to bring easterly winds. This is the tropical and mid-latitude view. The UK is in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it on this particular uh, view. Reminder of the week one, 500 millibar height anomaly with the above average heights extending from uh, the UK into the middle of the Atlantic and also going to our east, northeast as well. Temperature anomalies in the week ahead are warmer than average. It's going to be a warm start to uh, the forecast period. It's going to be a warm final week of August there with temperatures from the 23rd to the 30th of August, above average of the UK and warmer than average for most parts of Europe as well. It's also a dry of an average week coming up, uh, so we see that the precipitation anomaly uh, for the final week of August is coming out drier than normal. A bit of a change, or quite a big change, as we go through to week two, which is the 30th of August, 6th of September, with the below average heights then extending through the west of Europe. The above average heights are pulling into the middle of the Atlantic and also pushing away to our east. Jet streams are pushing through the west of Europe as well. It looks like it should be a cooler and more unsettled week. Temperature anomalies are close to average, a little bit cooler than average to ourselves, close to average for the UK and to Ireland as well, but it is cool compared to week one. It's also more unsettled with precipitation anomalies going wetter than average, so a wetter than average week being forecast here from the uh, JMA for the first week of September. And then we get through to uh, weeks three and four with this rather strange looking uh, anomaly. It's a two weekly anomaly, so there might be some transitional, uh, some sort of transitional situation going on here. We have got the above average heights away to our east and also up here to our northeast. Otherwise, there isn't a great deal else to go on. 
Temperature anomaly from the 6th to the 20th of September forecast to be close to average, still a bit cooler than average actually, down to our south southwest. Uh, and still rather unsettled too, actually. So that's a bit surprisingly so. It's coming out with slightly above average rainfall there from the 6th to the 20th of September. So overall, rather a rather mixed, would say perhaps slightly unsettled September being indicated here by the JMA. Let's have a look at CFS V2. So again, these are 500 mil of our heights broken down into weekly pairs. The first week pair takes us from the 23rd to the 9th of August. The coming week with above average heights over to the east of the country, below average heights in the North Atlantic up there. Uh, from the jets pushed off up to the north, so there's lots of dry weather uh, ahead in the week ahead. Um, and we're bringing in those warm southerly, easterly, southeasterly winds. So it's mainly anticyclonic, dry, and very warm. Uh, perfect agreement between the JMA and the CFS for week two as well. This is the 30th of August and the 5th of September. The above average heights sort of slipping up to the east, northeast, and pulling out into the middle of the Atlantic. Below average heights over the west of Europe. That does look like it would be uh, a rather more unsettled and slightly cooler. Uh, week there, opening days uh, of September, not just for the UK but for much of Western Europe too. Into uh, week three, which is the 6th to the 12th of September, with the above average heights then over Scandinavia and pushing northwards, still has have the ridge in the middle of the North Atlantic. Below average heights beginning to lift out a little bit across the northwest of Europe, but probably still rather on the changeable side. If anything, probably still some influence from the jet stream there. And then all changed for week four, which is the 13th to the 19th of September. Then we get the above average heights coming back to the west and to the north of the country. That will probably turn the wind into an east northeasterly. So um, fairly anticyclonic, but perhaps a slide off in the temperature there as we go through to the middle of September, possibly starting to generate, particularly at night, some pretty chilly temperatures uh, by night, perhaps. Temperature anomalies in the week ahead with CFS V2 from the 23rd, 29th of August, significantly warm and average. In fact, you would say quite hot here on the scale with sort of two degrees or more above average. So very warm, if not quite hot week coming up. Still warmer than average into uh, week two, which is the 30th of August, 5th of September. So a little bit above average, but less so compared to week one. We're sort of under one degree above average. So clearly there's a bit of a drop in the temperature taking place there through to early September, but still on the warmer than average side. Uh, week three is the 6th to the 12th of September. That one is also coming out with a warmer than average temperature. And I mean, still a little bit above average, even into week four. This is the uh, 13th to the 19th of September. This one also is coming out a little bit warmer than average. So quite a warm September coming up. CFS is right. Uh, finally, precipitation. So week ahead under high pressure from the 23rd, 29th of August. It's much drier an average very dry week coming up then it's a little bit more unsettled into week two this one is uh, again going to be the 30th of august to the 5th of september just a little bit wetter than average there but quite a change compared to week one which is significantly drier than average so yeah, it's a more unsettled spell for the opening days of september closer average with precipitation for week three 6th to the 12th of september probably losing the signal the third route we're going uh, week four, which is normally no signal, uh, actually looks rather drier than average. It's the 13th to the 19th of September, quite significantly drier than average. So it's complicated, this. Uh, certainly the first, the coming week is going to be dry, very warm, locally hot, under high pressure. The second week, so the opening days of September, looking rather mixed, a little bit showery, still probably quite warm, but certainly a bit more unsettled and then we're into weeks three and four and the trend with the CFS is more towards high pressure so quite a lot of high pressure through this September if that's right being dry and warm weather the JMA looks rather more unsettled although it was a strange 500 millibar height anomaly uh, that we have there for weeks three and four with the JMA but the temperature anomaly and the precipitation anomaly did look rather cooler and more unsettled compared to what the CFS is showing. So it's a difficult one, but the CFS in particular is shifting more, I think, towards a warmer and drier September now. 
Um, so we'll just wait and see where this is going over the next few uh, weeks. Bear in mind, September is a very difficult month to forecast for due to um, the uh, changes that take place in the tropical Atlantic. So this is with low confidence. And just a, sna a snapshot of what these models are showing today. They could look quite different next week. But we might be moving towards a warmer and drier September, perhaps. We'll be back later on with your uh, week 10 day video update. That'll be here on the homepage at Gas Office later on this afternoon. So come back for that then. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.